Hi, I'm Finn Peacock. I love solar power. But not everyone's house is suitable for solar power. And not everyone's roof, more specifically, is suitable. So how do you know if your roof is good for solar power? Well, there's three things you've got to think about. One is the angle of your roof. The optimum angle for a roof to get the maximum amount of solar power averaged throughout the year is the same as the latitude of the location of that roof. So, for example, latitude in Darwin is 12 degrees, move south to Sydney, it's about 34 degrees. Uh, and then if you go as far south as Hobart, it climbs up to 47 degrees. So for example, in Sydney, the perfect angle for solar panels is 34 degrees from horizontal. So you probably don't even know what the roof, the angle of your roof is, why should you? Um, if you've got a house in Australia, it's probably between 18 degrees and 22 degrees. Oh no, it's not 34 degrees. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means, means almost nothing. Um, the difference between, you know, rule of thumb, the difference in 10 degrees between the perfect angle and your roof, uh, if there's a difference of 10 degrees, that's going to translate to well less than 5% hit to your power output. Um, so in other words, it's, it's really not worth worrying about. Um, in fact, I'd go as far to say that if your roof has got any angle at all, i.e. it's not flat, don't worry about it. The, a good solar installer will tell you what the power hit is because you haven't got the perfect angle and it will be a lot, even in the worst case, it will be a lot less than 10%. Um, but let them, let them work that out for you and then put the numbers into something like my calculator, see if it makes financial sense with that kind of power output. But as a rule of thumb, if your roof has got any angle at all, just don't sweat. Um, you'll take a small power hit if it's not exactly the latitude, but it'll be, it'll be very small compared to other things. Now, the one exception to that rule is if you've got a flat roof. If you've got a flat roof, the problem is that if it rains, you get dust on there, it's not going to self-clean because the water's not going to slide off. So if you've got a flat roof, then you probably want to consider racking, uh, which is quite expensive, probably $100 per solar panel. Um, and if you're going to get racking, then you might as well put the panels at the perfect angle, which is the latitude um, of wherever the roof's located. The next thing you've got to consider is a biggie is the direction that your roof's facing. I'll go into a lot more detail on this in the next video, um, but suffice to say, in Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere, the perfect angle, the perfect direction is north. Um, if you can, point them north. Now, a lot of people haven't got a north-facing roof area or have a very small north-facing roof area if their roof line's north-south. Uh, they've got a big east or west-facing roof. Five years ago, when solar panels were four times the price, um, I, would not I would not have recommended putting them on an east or west facing roof because they would turn what was then a kind of marginal investment into a nuts investment. That 15% would have really hurt you. Um, five years later, solar panels are a quarter of the price. Um, you will get about a 15% power hit compared to a north facing roof if you go east or west, which in the scheme of things with the price of solar panels now, it's not really a big deal um, for most people. So don't, um, if you've only got east or west facing roof, it's not, not a showstopper. Uh, the last one, the biggie, is shading. If you've got any shade, if any shade at all falls on your roof, then the only way to quantify whether that's going to be a problem or how big of a problem it's going to be, because it will be a problem, shade is a problem, is to get a proper shade analysis done. Now, unfortunately, not many solar installers do this, but if you have shade on your roof, it really is worth finding a solar installer that will get an instrument called a sun eye. It looks like this. Uh, they go up, they stick it on their roof, they press a button. It takes a 360 degree picture of the uh, tree line or anything that casts a shade on your roof. It's got a GPS in it, so it knows exactly where in the world it is. It calculates any time of day, any time of year, for the whole year, where the sun's going to be. It produces a sun profile, a shading profile, and it quantifies almost exactly how much shade will just fall on the solar panels throughout the year. And we'll give you a number, you know. Uh, you'll get a 40% hit, you'll get a 20% hit. But that is the only way to quantify it. Um, I've seen some advice on websites, terrible advice, saying, oh, look on Near Maps, uh, which is a mapping website. You can look in winter, you can look in summer, you can see where the shade is. That's bullshit. Um, Near Maps will give you one slice of time, you know, maybe three o'clock on, on a June afternoon. 
um, you know, move along three hours, the shade will be somewhere completely different. So there's no other solution that I know of that will give you a, a quantify whether shade is a problem on your roof, if you have any shade on your roof, than a full shade analysis. And I've written a uh, long, detailed blog post explaining exactly what's involved, and you can see it here. So the three things you've got to worry about when you're considering whether your roof has potential for solar is the angle. If it's not the same as the latitude of where the roof's located, it's not perfect, but it's probably not an issue unless you've got a flat roof. The next thing is the direction. Ideally, it will be north facing, uh, but like I said, west and east is, can be pretty good these days because solar panels are a lot cheaper than they used to be. And then there's shading. If you've got any shading on your roof at all, try and find a solar installer that will do a proper shade analysis. They're pretty hard to find. It drives me up the wall that more of them don't do it. But, you know, it's a big investment and shade will kill the output of a solar power system. So get a shade analysis done if you have shade issues. A good solar salesman, a good solar installer will tell you what's imperfect about your roof because it's probably imperfect and they'll give you a number, a percentage um, away from perfect that your solar power system will be. So, you know, are you going to take a 10% hit, a 20% hit based on your angle, your direction, your shade? You want to know that number and then you can make up um, your own mind as to whether it's worth proceeding.